Welcome to an introduction to odds using a fair die. When rolling a six-sided fair die as shown here, the sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six, meaning these are the possible outcomes. The odds in favor of an event is equal to the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of unfavorable outcomes, and the ratio can be expressed in fraction form using the word two or using a colon. And the odds against an event is equal to the ratio of the number of unfavorable outcomes to the number of favorable outcomes. So going back to our examples, we first want to determine the odds for rolling a six-sided die and getting a four, which means we're looking for the odds in favor of getting a four. So looking at the sample space, notice how there is one favorable outcome, the four. All the other numbers would be unfavorable outcomes, and therefore there are one, two, three, four, five unfavorable outcomes, and therefore the odds of getting a four, or the odds in favor of getting a four, are one to five, which can be expressed as a fraction using the word two, or using a colon. Next, we're asked to find the odds against rolling a six-sided die and getting a four. Well, if the odds in favor of getting a four are one to five, then the odds against getting a four must be five to one, which again can be expressed as a fraction using the word two or using a colon. It is important though, if we express the odds as a fraction, we leave it as a ratio of two numbers, we would never simplify this to five. And again, the odds against rolling a four is five to one because there are five unfavorable outcomes and only one favorable outcome. Next, we're asked to find the odds for rolling a six-sided die and getting a number less than or equal to four. So going back over to the sample space, the favorable outcomes are the numbers less than or equal to four, which are one, two, three, and four. The unfavorable outcomes are five and six, and therefore the odds in favor of getting a number less than or equal to four are four to two. But notice how the ratio of four to two does simplify because four and two share a common factor of two. To simplify the ratio, we divide both by two, which gives us the ratio of two to one, which again can be written in three different ways. And for the last example, we're asked to determine the odds against rolling a six-sided die and getting a number greater than or equal to three. So the numbers greater than or equal to three are the favorable outcomes. The numbers less than three are the unfavorable outcomes. So there are two unfavorable outcomes because one and two are not greater than or equal to three. And there are one, two, three, four favorable outcomes. And because we're looking for the odds against getting a number greater than or equal to three, we want the ratio of the number of unfavorable outcomes to the number of favorable outcomes, and therefore the ratio is two to four, which again simplifies to the ratio of one to two. I hope you found this helpful.